Other than my children, this is my most prized possession. Her, her name's Judy the Beauty. One horse can change someone's life, and she did. I paid 20000 for her, and she made almost $2 million. She was, won the Eclipse Award. Um, she was champion sprinter that year. At the time, I was kind of getting going as a trainer, and all three of my kids got to, got to better in life because of one horse. Every horse is different. She's, she's, she'd be like, a, you know, if you, if you put them like dogs, like she'd be a Labrador Retriever, just a total sweetheart. She's, she's always over here at the fence looking for me for, for candy. That's, she, she looks right in your pocket, see? She thinks you're, she knows they're in the pocket there, but unfortunately today they're not. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna give me the evil stare when we get out of here. <laughs> pretty much train each horse as an individual. So my eyes are, are gonna tell me where the horse is at, uh, moving forward to what race, or if he's ready for a race, or, or not. I like to train sprinters, and I'll tell you why. It's, it's, it, it, you can train them a lot easier. You don't have to train them as hard as a, as a distance horses. You just want to basically keep them as sound as you possibly can, and the ability is going to come out on race day. This is an old tobacco barn. The air moves through this barn. That's why the horses love it. This, it they're not so, horses are claustrophobic, most of them. And so when they can get this open, airy feeling, they just thrive. Golden Pal. my buddy. I play with him every day here. He will get you. <laughs> you gotta be careful. He's quick too. All of them, they get peppermints all throughout the day. They know they're special. But he's just, uh, he's unbelievable, this guy, as far as his talent he has. This is Twilight Gleaming. She was second last year in the, in the Queen Mary. She's, like I said, every, every horse is different. They're all finicky. Like the one next to her, Campanella, everything's got to be right with the shipping and this and that. She goes to a certain place, she won't eat. This filly, she could bring her right in her living room and she'd be, uh, she'd be eating popcorn sitting beside you. She doesn't care about anything. She's just a total sweetheart. As you can see, she's got her neck in between here and she doesn't spook. She's not scared of anything. She's a total sweetheart. Well, I'll take you show you some, some of the foals we've had. I've got about 25 mares, so we do a lot of breeding. We'll have one stall and my mares are, we bring the mares in and they foal here, and then we raise them right out here in this big 100 acre paddock. These are all, they just had foals. Two weeks old, two, three weeks old, some of them. So I have a stallion, his name's Hootenanny. Pretty much most of these are by him. No es mancito este. You got to be very, very careful and very slow because she will kick me and you know, she, she's not used to being around people. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one inside here, who's a little bit more advanced. They, she, she's feeling like it's just not me against her now. Her buddy's in here, so she's going to be a lot easier to, for me to catch. She's gonna follow, see? Horse, horses are, they're, they're gonna follow. Okay, va para acá. She, she does not know how to lead. I can't pull her, I just gotta go nice and easy with her for the first few days. See, she doesn't, she doesn't know what she's doing, but she's gonna follow her friend, and in the same time, she's learning how to lead. She's just one years old. And because we don't, we don't really spend a lot of time with her, see, she, she's, she's afraid of me, so I'm, I'm gonna try to make this, is he, like I can pet her here, but when I go to touch her head, see, she's, gonna, she's not gonna like that. So I'm gonna be able, because her friend's here, next to her, she knows it. I'm gonna try to think it's not, it's not like a fight between me and her, so in the same process, just trying to touch her and teach her that you know, it's all gonna be okay, especially with her friend here. I'll take them over and I'll swim them for a week once they, and, and that really, really helps them just mentally 
to where in the fall when we go to break them, to where that when the rider gets on their back, they're, they're a lot more, they, they've been around people and they know that nobody's gonna hurt them and it won't be a big, a big fight to teach them how when we put the rider on. She's gonna follow her friend into her stall, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get her in here. If you tried to come here two days ago and do this, she'd have been coming at you with, with both legs, which she did. <laughs> and so she's, she's come a long ways just in a few days.